This video will go over some of the environmental setup reports that can be generated from FUDSCHEM. These reports give a summary of what was set up in the EQAP. They typically share the same name as the EQAP tabs to which they correspond, though some do not correspond to an EQAP tab. Our Environmental Setup Reports Overview Part 2 video goes over the reports that do not correspond to an EQAP tab or are related to regulatory limits. It is linked in the description. For more information on creating an EQAP, please refer to our EQAP Tutorials playlist, linked in the description. Let's go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. We go over the Acceptable Units by Method Group Report, Active Screening Checks Report, Flagging Setup Report, Regulatory Limits Report, Regulatory Limits by Analyte Report, Regulatory Limits Comparison Worksheet Format Report, and Regulatory Limits Metadata Report in our Part 2 video, linked in the description. Choose Analysis Methods, Matrix, Sample Preparation. Choose the project. Click View Report. This report indicates which methods, matrices, and units have been set up in the EQAP. The matrix code, unit code, analysis code, preparation method, and handling columns contain the valid values that the labs should use in their SED files. This information comes from the methods, matrix, and sample prep tabs of the EQAP setup tool. All of the reports update in real time when an edit is made to the EQAP and can be saved in a variety of formats by clicking the floppy disk icon. Let's go back to our main window. Go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. Choose Analyte Criteria. Choose the project. Adjust the Analysis Method drop-down if desired. Click View Report. This report shows the QC elements required by the EQAP for each analyte in each method. It indicates which compounds are set to be included in matrix spikes, laboratory control samples, etc. Submitted laboratory data must match this list exactly so it should be reviewed carefully to make sure no elements or analytes are missing and that no extra items are included. Additionally, the limits listed on this report determine how the Automated Data Review ADR, will apply the flags listed in the QC Elements report, which we will look at later. In most cases, the default criteria come from the QSM. Values that were changed from the original template are highlighted. Mousing over a highlighted row will open a pop-up showing the original values for easy comparison. Let's go back to our main window. Go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. Choose Analyte Limits. Choose the project. Adjust the Analysis Method drop-down if desired. Click View Report. This report lists the laboratory limits and project quantitation limit goals, PQGs, for each analyte, as entered in the EQAP Analyte Limits tab. Any missing values are highlighted. Let's go back to our main window. Go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. Choose Analyte Lists. Choose the project. Adjust the Analysis Method drop-down if desired. Click View Report. This report shows the analyte lists for each method, as established in the EQAP. The laboratory's SED file will need to match this list exactly. If the SED contains extra analytes or is missing analytes from this list, an error will be flagged. This is also true for surrogates, which are identified by the letters STD standard, in the type column. 
The client analyte IDs column contain the valid values that the labs should use in their said files. Analytes that were not part of the original method template are highlighted. Contaminants of potential concern, COPCs, are shown in bold. To review any analytes that were removed from the original template, set the Show Deleted Radio button to True, then click View Report. Only analytes that have been deleted will be shown. Let's go back to our main window. Go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. Choose EIS, Surrogate Code Associations. Choose the project. Adjust the other dropdowns as desired. Click View Report. This report lists the surrogate codes associated with each analyte. Analytes will be evaluated against surrogates with the same surrogate code number. Let's go back to our main window. Go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. Choose Holding Times. Choose the project. Click View Report. This report lists the holding times established in the Holding Times tab of the EQAP. It includes holding times at the preparation, analysis, and leachate levels. Values that have been changed from the original template are highlighted. Let's go back to our main window. Go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. Choose QC Elements. Choose the project. Adjust the analysis method dropdown if desired. Click View Report. This report shows the QC elements and validation flags associated with each analysis method. Each Control and Reject column lists the Detect flag, followed by the Non-Detect flag. For example, a column that reads J slash UJ will apply J flags to detects and UJ flags to non-detects. If the Include Bias option is set to True, bias is included after the flags. In the context of these QC elements, Reject is not meant to imply that data exceeding that limit will have an X or R qualifier applied to it. Instead, they allow us to distinguish between marginal and gross exceedances. The Control and Reject columns will apply whichever flag is listed on this report. For example, if the upper reject lists an X flag, then an X flag will be applied. However, if the upper reject lists a J flag, then a J flag will be applied. Flags can be adjusted on the QC Elements EQAP tab. However, bias is baked into the ADR and cannot be changed. For more information, please refer to our Bias and Validation video, linked in the description. Let's go back to our main window. Go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. Choose Sample Preservation. Choose the project. Click View Report. This report lists the sample preservation information, along with containers and sample volumes. Prep and test hold times, in days, are also shown, along with bottle group. For more information on bottle groups and bottle labels, please refer to our Field Sampling ChemField Entry Tutorial video, linked in the description. Let's go back to our main window. Go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. Choose Project Setup Combined. Choose the project. Click View Report. This report combines several of the above reports into a single report. Once you choose the project, the Reports dropdown allows you to decide which reports to include. Each of the selected reports appears as a separate section on its own page.
Don't forget to subscribe to the Futzchem YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. All of the tutorials and playlists mentioned during this video are linked in the description below. Lastly, if you have questions or comments, feel free to contact us at fuds.support at Thank you.